Thank you for the overwhelming support and solidarity you have given to us from the start of our administration in May 2015 to this very day. Also, I truly appreciate the trust you have continued to place in us, the cooperation we have continued to receive, and the implicit faith in the commitment and determination of our government to advance the collective peace security and progress of our state and our enduring collective case for fairness, equity, and justice in our country. I wish to reiterate that our commitment to the shared covenant for our new, secure, and prosperous river state remains strong as ever, and we will never relent nor waver in our determination to deliver all that we set out to achieve, to advance our security, progress, and prosperity before the end of our administration. We have done so much and achieved a lot in the last seven years, but there is still much more to be delivered. I can assure you that as we are witnessing, we will continue to deliver meaningful projects until our last day in office. As you all know, these are very turbulent times in the history of our country, and the level of insecurity across all parts has never been this bad. Nevertheless, we thank God Almighty for the prevailing high level of peace and security in River State relative to the near calamity that has befallen most other parts of the country. We therefore appreciate and applaud our security agencies for their efforts, courage, and dedication to keep River State substantially safe and secure in the face of very daunting operational difficulties that they face, including the lack of adequate support and motivation from the stakeholders. The government and the security agencies have labored hard to secure the prevailing peace and security, which we are determined to sustain for the benefit of the progress of the state and the well-being of our citizens. However, we are not unaware of the intelligence report on some misguided politicians who have started the process of recruiting courtists, supporters, and ex-convicts as talks in furtherance of their political aspirations for 2023. We have also been informed that owners of hotels and entertainment centers are giving out their premises to politicians and political parties as a convenient base for the gathering of these political talks across the state. I wish to emphasize that we are not taking these reports lightly and would therefore not allow any politician, no matter his previous or present position, the chance or opportunity to upset the prevailing peace and security in River State. Similarly, we would not allow a political party, be it the All Progressive Congress, the People's Democratic Party, or the Social Republic Party, or any other party, to threaten the safety and security of lives and property during the campaigns with mayhem, toggery, or violence. Accordingly, we have already alerted and set the security agencies on the trail of those misguided politicians and leaders of political parties and stop them in their tracks with the full weight of the law. We also wish to warn owners of hotels and proprietors of flagration centers to take notice and desist for releasing their facilities for politicians and party leaders to use to meet and plot against the peace, safety, and security of our state. For the avoidance of doubt, the state government will pull down hotels and other entertainment places that are linked howsoever with such criminal political activities. I wish to reiterate our unwavering commitment to 
safeguarding the sanctity of lives and property throughout the state and to everyone that we shall continue to spare no effort to keep privacy safe and secure. We want residents to be vigilant while going about with their normal activities and promptly report any suspicious gatherings or movements in your vicinity to the attention of the security agencies for necessary action. Once again, thank you for your cooperation, prayers, and support, which continues to humble and motivate us to deliver on our mandate to improve the security and well-being of all residents. Thank you, and may God bless the rest of